Mr. Walker, not your best effort. Um. Wow, Steve. Yeah, really I know. Really sucked it up on that one. You know? I don't get it. I mean, I just, I just can't ace a test. Okay, I got an idea. Let me show you how to ace a test. All right. Ah, yes, hello today. My name is Professor Osprey, and I am here to teach you all the fundamentals of math. It is all very simple if you follow a few simple equations. Come, let me show you. But first, I need my trusty learning stick, which is the key to all equations. Let us go. Now, as you can see, we'll start off with the studying. Studying is a very important part. But, what does it equal? It equals knowledge. What does the knowledge equal, you ask? Well, this is a very important equation, so you'll be listening up. Knowledge equals the time you spend studying multiplied by the notes, n number of notes. Take lots of notes. That is important. Now, all of that which we have up here, the time and the notes, is going to be divided by the distractions you have squared. You know, distractions can be anything like watching the TV, having your chores, etc. But try to limit those because that is a very determining factor in this equation. Yes? But then, we are not done. We are not done. Don't, don't, don't even think, don't even think about it. Moving on. That all is multiplied by the universal constant, you see. The adolescent attention span, which is 0.33 watts per minute. You see, this is a very important number. Now, if you make your time more, your notes more, your distraction less, you will have more knowledge. Is this clear? Yes. Now that we have discussed the studying portion of our program, we will now discuss the test itself. Now, when you are taking the test, there is a certain amount of nervousness you have to consider. Now, nervousness is caused by a few factors, you see. One, the magnitude of the test, which is taken two times. The big which means The crime factor is squared. Crime factor is also squared! <laughs> now, once we have that, we either take the plus or we're taking the minus of the essay. Now, an essay might cause you more problems, more nervousness, because it's something you didn't expect. But if there's a minus essay, there's no essay on the test, so I guess you could say this essay, this minus essay, would turn out to be a plus, eh? That's pretty funny. Now, that is the equation for the nervousness. So what you want to do is hope you get a small test, right? You want to reduce your cramming, yes, and you want to hope for no essay. And that should reduce your nervousness on your next test. Now that we have learned the equations, I leave you with a bit of advice. In my country, we have a saying, don't sweat the petty things in life, like these tests, etc. But also, don't pet the sweaty things in life. That is not good either. But in all seriousness, I would like to just tell you all that to remember one simple equation. Your success in life equals how much you believe in yourself. Okay? I would like to thank you for watching. I'm Professor Osterich. Good day. Hey Steve, uh, what you doing? Oh, I was just going over some of the equations that Professor Osterick gave me on, on my knowledge and my nervousness. 
and I realized the test is so close that if I started studying now, even if I spent a lot of time taking notes and I minimized my distractions, my cram factor would be way too high. I'd be too nervous during the test to actually concentrate. I'm just, what do I do? Yeah, I mean, you're right. Um, I guess you could follow the, the cram chart. The cram chart? Yeah, I mean, first, if you don't want to actually do all the work, you can just like, you know, go to Spark Notes or Wikipedia, they usually work. That's a great idea. Right. Okay, the internet. So right here, you got Spark Notes, and this will give you all the information you need for any literary stuff. Okay, good books. Uh, I don't have time to read a book. Chapter analysis, pot of pot review. All right. If you don't have enough time for all the chapters, then you should probably just go to a plot summary. You can get more plot summaries at uh, Wikipedia. Wikipedia? But how can I look at Wikipedia when I'm on the computer and look at Smart Notes? You have to multitask. Drew, what? Fire up Wikipedia. Oh, Come on, man, I don't have time. Okay. Okay, here we go. What's happening? It's something's not right with my computer. I... I guess the computer's overloaded or something. Too much knowledge. Too much um, knowledge. I we guess our... have too much knowledge. I don't have enough. Well, I mean, there's not much else we can do. Our next step, I guess. Uh, we gotta go consult a friend. The only friends I have are you guys. You didn't read the book, did you? I didn't do s***. Organize Mr. Getz. He knows everything. I know I'm not always the most diligent student, but right now, I'm the most desperate student. I, I didn't study for the test that's coming up. I didn't even work. I didn't even get a chance to look online for spark notes or anything like that. I figured, well, you know everything, so could, could you tell me, could you tell me what happened in the awakening? <laughs> Mr. Getz, but you know everything. Haven't you read the book? Why are you unwilling to impart your knowledge to me? I'm one of your best students. Waka 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 I didn't do anything off the internet. Mr. Getz won't help me. I'm just lost. I got nothing, man. Well, we tried pretty much everything on the list. Um, I mean, I guess there's one more place we could turn to. I'm ready, man. Come on. Are you? I, mean, are you... I, I, I need this. I need this badly. We could ask. I guess it's my risk. If you think it's worth it, well, you're gonna have to lose, I guess. See, I'm gonna hold up.